Hello, Jim and David. Uh, just back from a week in Spain. Stocks are at the highs for the day over in Europe. They're on the flattish side. And that's pretty much the same here in the United States. Dow's on the upside, but banks flattish, consumer discretionary, industrials uh, trying to struggle to get back here. And here, look here. Two big movers on the downside in May, emerging markets, semiconductors, they've been trying to bottom the last couple of days. This is certainly a very positive sign. Been away for a week, but there's three obvious big problems for the market, and it's not just China trade. It's a little broader than that. No trade deals ever settled. This was a comment in European papers I saw. We had an uh, agreement with Mexico and Canada they were going to vote on, and the Congress, all of a sudden, you got tariffs. Europe, they seem baffled by this, so nothing is ever settled. We've got tougher tech regulation. You see what's going on with Amazon, Facebook, and Google. These are the market leaders. That's potentially a major problem for the stock market. And then finally, remember something. The stock market was expecting an earnings uptick in the second half of the year, not a downtick, not a slower, much slower global growth. These three things together, major headwinds for the markets right now. Take a look. We, a lot of people think a lot of damage has been done. Not as much as you might think. If you just take a look at some of the numbers here, here's Google, Facebook, and Amazon today here, okay? This is a major worry, in my opinion, for the market that a lot of people are not paying enough attention to right now. But just look at where we are on the global level. A lot of people say, oh, there's been some stock catastrophe happening in the last five or six weeks. Not really. Look, the S&P is only 6% off of its historic high. Shanghai 6%. I'm sorry, 52-week highs. Shanghai 6%. The whole world is 6% off of its recent highs. If you look more recently here, the global markets year to date, everything is still up, folks. Here, the S&P 500's up, Germany's up, Shanghai's still up 16%. All right, it was up 30, 25% a little while ago. Even if you look at the Dow components, yes, the semis have had trouble. Intel is to the downside, Caterpillar is to the downside. But Apple, tech, United Tech, Microsoft, these are still very, very big gains for the year. My point here, it's not a catastrophe, at least not yet here. The problem is the market's decline is not enough if we have those big three problems that I talked about here. So what's the right multiple for the stock market right now? Remember, 15 and 16 is the average. May 1st, it was 17, way too high. Today, it's 16. If you put a 15 and a half multiple on the next forward four quarter earnings, you're at 2650. And a lot of people like to look at this number. Focus on that number because that's a good number to look at for earnings, assuming only modest earnings gains and a lower multiple. If you take zero earnings gain and the lower multiple, you could be at 2550 very early, very easily. Just take a look at the S&P 500. I'll tell you why I like 2650 as a target to look at for the year. So remember where we were down here? This is 2350. Remember when we hit the top up here? That was 2950. The difference is about 600 points. So the difference right in the middle, right there, is 2650. That's another good reason to concentrate on that particular level.